Hello guys, thank you for coming back. Uh, today I was going to set up the rig in our client, but I thought it's better to deploy our application with. So first, what I want to do is clean up our file structure, and then I'm gonna deploy our application with Heroku. So in here, uh, so far we've only done for our server, so it's better to just uh, put all of our server file and folder into one server folder. So I'm gonna make server folder, server, and I'm gonna put this index.js into server folder, move, and then model into server folder. And be aware. and config further into server further and save and now that our entry point the index.js is inside the server further so we actually need to change one thing this start point has to be changed into ser here server and in here too, server. So in here, it's gonna read. Uh, I need to go first server further and then index.js to start the server. So I'm gonna check whether it's gonna work well or not by typing npm run backend enter. Maybe there is one thing we actually need to change. Uh, first, we go to index.js, and uh, if we see this directory, actually, it's in the same directory, so it has to be one. So I'm gonna save it again. Uh, there's one more thing the models. Uh, this is also in same directory and this one and in general okay I'm gonna try it again uh, it works well now so now I also want to make the client further further not in here on the root of directory I can make the client Further. Okay, so we are gonna just uh, set up the React in here later. So from now on, we are gonna deploy our application uh, with the Heroku. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the Heroku website in here www.heroku.com. So uh, for those who don't have a Heroku account yet, you can easily sign up for free and click this one and you can fill a lot of field in here and I'm gonna wait for you here by pausing the video so if you are done signing up yet and you can go here now we need to download Heroku CLI so first we need to go to the documentation and in here, we need to download Heroku CLI, so we can click this one. And in here, there is this one, download. So depending on your computer, whether you're macOS or Windows or Ubuntu, then you can choose to download it. So I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna skip it, but it will be just easy. You can just click here and keep going and going. So I'm gonna pause the video again to wait for you so if you finish downloading it so to check if we have the Heroku CLI installed or not on our machine we can just simply go to our editor and then we can use our terminal to check it so first 
I'm gonna clear the server and clear in here. Uh, I'm gonna type hello here. Free. So if you see this showing up, that means you already have the Heroku CLI downloaded in your machine. So now it's time for us to move on. So now we need to log in Heroku from our application. So in terminal, we are going to type Heroku login. So we can hit enter. automatically this will lead us to Heroku website like this so I can click the login button yeah, login so now we can close this page and we can go back to our editor So now it's time to so now it is time to create our new application. So we need to type arrow to create. So if we see here the first URL is our URL for our application and the second URL is the address of the Heroku Git repository for this project. So now there are more things we need to do to deploy our application with Heroku, like more configuration. So if we go to index.js and if we go down below, so we can see our application listen 5000 port, but this only works in our development mode but in production mode uh, it will listen actually different port which belongs to only Heroku so we need to make this dynamic we can do like this port, port and process port this means uh, this let the port be set by Heroku and for 5000 so this means uh, if we use Heroku uh, it will be set by Heroku and if not we will use 5000 so we can just put this variable in here and I want to keep here the core function to make sure this listen the right port so for running on on app port this one So we the trigger our server npm run server npm run backend it still works well so just to the server again and then there are more things we need to configure for Heroku deployment. So we actually need to specify our node and npm version in package.json. So to do that, I first write engine and object. And in here, first node version and npm version. 
So to know which version of load and npm our machine are using, so simply we can just type uh, first the clear answer. Simply we can type npm version. So we can write this one in here and also do this for I'm sorry npm do this for the node version even for this we can copy and paste it so so far it's good and we save it and there is one more thing we need to do in Heroku website so if we go to key.js we see here so when we are in production mode so we go to plot and if we are in development mode then we need to go development so when we are using Heroku for deployment uh, there are some variables we need to let Heroku know so if we go to dev.js so our mongodb private information in here we can just use this when we use the development mode but if when we use the production mode we will use this one but we don't let our Heroku know this manually actually Heroku cannot know this one so that's why first we need to go to Heroku website and then we do login so let's go to dashboard and click the one we just uh, create it and then we click the settings and review config bar so click this one and this is the place we need to let Heroku know the value we made in our application so first go back to our editor so if we see here this will be the key so we can copy this one and then paste it and then we also go to devil.js and we need to copy this one and then go back and then put this one in here and click add so now I think the all of the things we need to do for Heroku deployments are done now so we try to really deploy our application so by going to our editor and we use our terminal first we need to do push our app to git so to do that we can type git and and then type git commit in a m initial line Heroku deployment first we will just push this to github so git push Heroku ah, push origin origin master And lastly, we will push this into the Heroku git push Heroku master. It will actually take a long time to do this. So I'm gonna pause the video. So now it's done. So they say we can go to this URL to see our application. So we are going there 
also if you see this actually this is why successful the reason why we have this one is we actually didn't request anything at all so there is nothing they can show so if i want to prove it's actually working well so i'm gonna do some very simple request so by going back to our editor in here i'm gonna make really simple request add get and here and request and request error function and here's the json i'm gonna yeah, send the json and that like just very simple thing hello i am happy to deploy on and save it and then clear and i'm gonna do i'm gonna push our application again to git and heroku so git add and git commit again heroku again Origin master. And I'm gonna do the push arrow to master. So, so I'm gonna push the video again just for a while. So we are done pushing our application into Heroku again. So now in here I'm gonna click here. So if we see our app, so we can see here that yeah, it's deployed successfully. So if you have any problem, maybe you can just uh, comment down below. And I will try to help you as much as I can. So thank you for watching this video and see ya.